The legend takes place at the beginning of time. It takes mythic beings to transform our reality to what it is today. An entertaining explanation of how things became the way they are. As you are listening, you are learning. I find with legends, once they are heard and laughed about, they are remembered. It is an effective way to teach. The best way to appreciate legends is to regard them as an expression of the culture of the people who created them. These are legends my grandmother told me. Wisagajak flies south. It was fall and the world was changing to get ready for winter. Wisagajak was walking around the world enjoying the fall colors. He watched the birds fly as they headed south. Wisagajak decided that he would like to fly south. Wisagajak walked to find a flock of geese. They were busy getting themselves ready for the trip. Wisagajak told them about his wish. The geese said that he could join them. Wisagajak was very happy. The geese found a medium-sized stick. They told Wisagajak that one goose would bite each end of the stick. Wisagajak would bite the middle of the stick. The two geese would fly side by side and carry Wisagajak to the south. Wisagajak agreed. The geese told Wisagajak to use his arms for balance and that he had to be quiet during the trip. Wisagajak agreed. The geese held the stick in their mouths. Wisagajak joined in the middle. They all took off and began to fly south for the winter. Together they flew across the country, past huge mountains, over rivers and lakes, all across the land. Wisagajak was enjoying the beautiful view. They passed areas where there were villages set up. Many people were walking around the village doing their daily chores. Wisagajak asked if the geese could fly closer to the villages. He wanted to show off. No, said the geese. The villages are dangerous. People want our meat and feathers. We fly far above villages. Wisagajak tried to steer his arms, but the geese were able to keep control. Wisagajak said, How are we supposed to be brothers and sisters together if we don't try? The geese spoke about this, but in the end they said it was too dangerous. Wisagajak said, If you have the great Wisagajak with you, no one would dare fire at you. The geese agreed. Geese and Wisagajak turned towards the village. Wisagajak was trying to wave his hands. When he moved his arms around, he almost fell. He was yelling between his teeth. He was very high up and no one could hear him. He was talking with the stick in his mouth and his words didn't make any sense. The people of the village looked up and saw a huge flock of geese headed toward the village. The people thought that the geese must be lost or crazy. They ran to get their bows and arrows. Tonight would be a feast. As soon as the geese got close to the village, the people opened fire. Arrows were everywhere. The geese turned and started to fly away, up higher. The people were shooting arrows as fast as they could. Never had such a crazy thing happened. The two geese holding the stick turned and started to fly higher. They flapped as strong as they could. Wisagajak felt a sharp cut in his butt. When he felt the pain, he yelled. When he yelled, he opened his mouth. And when he opened his mouth, he fell. Off flew his ride, and down Wisagajak fell. He crashed hard into the ground. The people of the village were running after 
the fleeing flock of geese, Wisigeja had just enough time to scoop himself up and run into the forest before anyone could see him. But he couldn't help yelling, ow, 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 all the way north.